Hi everyone, uh, this video is all about how to install Ubuntu 14.04.1 along with Windows 8. The Windows 7 user can also follow this step to install Ubuntu in their system. So first of all, you will be needing Ubuntu. So we'll be going to the Ubuntu official website, download desktop. Uh, for this case, I will be downloading 64 bit, but you can download 32 bit according to your machine requirement. So download. For now, no contribution. No, not now. Save. Actually, I have already downloaded before Ubuntu, so I won't be downloading it again. Save data. The next thing you will be needing universal USB installer. Go there, universal installer and download this again I have downloaded it so after after that downloads click to the universal USB installer yes I agree and then select here Ubuntu and in this browse Ubuntu iOS file click open and you can choose a drive actually I have already made it bootable you can see from here but you have to then afterwards you have to, shoot, you have to create it I have already get it so I won't be doing this again so cancel after this follow this step go to the search search for power option power option settings go to the power option and Required. choose power option what choose what the power option does and change setting that are currently available the Windows 7 user can go to the hardware and sound and then power option and system and the control panel they are even can search in control panel Need to worry about that Windows 7 user can get and here yeah deselect it turn on fast startup and deselect it save made the save change save save it okay done and the next thing you will be the next thing you will be doing disable the secure boot option the UFI app because it does not allow Ubuntu to boot along with Windows 8 so for that go to the setting click shift then power Holding the shift key, press restart. Now select start BIOS setup. Go to the security option and make the secure boot disabled. It's already disabled in my case. In your case, it's enabled. Make it disabled and save it. Press F10 to save it and the last step you will be needing is to make a free space for Ubuntu to load on it. Actually to install on it. You won't be installing on your Windows drive. So you need a free space for that. Go to the uh, system partition. Let's go to the disk management setting. Create and format text partition. I will be allocating 65 GB for my Ubuntu, not more than that. Uh, or, or you can use it, just you can shrink it according to your choice. So I've already done it before. Okay. Now it's time to reboot it. So restart. After inserting the pen drive. Coming off. 
Fire one, two, or no. Windows, so I will show you something else. So where is my free space? And click it. This is my free space. And now click on the free space. And click the plus sign. First of all, I will make 300 MB. For you, the 300 MB. Area 4 GB multi 4 gigabytes approximately in MB it should be 50 gigabytes. Area around 4 gigabytes for home and 4 gigabytes and for root 40 gigabytes. same directory make sure that it's already 
already there. Hello, install. Finally, we are ready to install Ubuntu. Uh, India. I'm, I'm Indian. I'm proud to be a part of India. install Ubuntu in your system and and must be booted to Ubuntu but unfortunately when you restart your system next time you directly boot to Windows 8 without having choice to choose between Ubuntu and Windows 8 so what get wrong don't worry actually you have to fix the bootloader so for that go to here right click and click to command front yes and light some one line of command actually and the command will go like this And click enter and the operation completed successfully and now you can have the dual boot mode on uh, thank you for watching this video